Hello, welcome back everyone with uh, me, Lord Cucumber, uh, close combat, the longest day. Alright, so the strategic phase, we need to figure out where to go with our troopsies. We'll be doing this a lot more. Are these guys cut off? You're not, not telling me these guys are cut off, right? Oh, damn it, I hope not. That would be a bad thing. I'm gonna roll... Can I roll them off? No, I cannot even roll them off the field. That's horrible. I'm gonna cut off these guys' reinforcements. Uh, or... Wait a minute. Oh, there's no strategic phase. What, did I, what was I thinking? I thought it was. I thought it was a strategic phase. Can't move anyone yet. No. What? What battle are we doing? I thought it was... The, the strategic phase. You... Mans... Oh, the Canadians have to fight. Of course, there's no strategic phase. The Canadians still have to fight. Strategy is completely lost when I f when I use the Canadians. But yes, that's it. So our Canadian friends are up against what? A stug, and a couple of grenadiers with a puck. Okay, not too worried. Okay, I thought I was already in the strategic phase last time, but I was wrong. Anyway, the battle continues. That's all cool. That's all cool. Alright, so we got a Sherman Firefly. That's our main asset here. That thing packs a punch. And I am putting it in the field right about here with cover. Right about here, like this. That's where we're going to put our tanks. Or one of our tanks, at least. The DD. Is it sort of expendable? I, ah, I don't want to expend it, obviously, but um, we can put it down here. That's fine. And the pack will probably punch it immediately. Uh, but that's okay. I am, I'm willing to take that risk. All right, Commando Rifle Group. I want you to be in the field. Yeah. There we go. Right up here on the fence. Helping the, uh, the, the Sherman right there. I'm, I'm gonna put some infantry with my tanks. The other commando group is conveniently close by. Goody. Defend. It'll be defending that tank. Hopefully with more success than in previous attempts. Canadians. I'm counting on you Canadians. Canucks. Do your worst. Uh, two inch mortar. I really thought it would be the uh, the uh, strategic phase. I'll, you know, I'm I'm only human. <laughs> I didn't know. I could have known had I checked. But of course, I didn't check. I'm gonna put that brand group. Hump. This is gonna be our top group here. There we go. Brand group on the fence, looking down. And. Um, Okay, they have extra officers for whatever reason. I did. I mixed that up. Don't know why? Uh, put these guys in a little hole here. It's done an awful lot of deflate there, but they'll have to deal with that. And uh, some more officers. I guess I'm gonna keep some in the uh, chateau, also on the fence. I guess we'll put the vicars in with them. It's nice in the middle of the map, ish have a nice position there and you can see all kinds of stuff happening on the other end so rifle group I need to have something on my my lower flank here something like this that would work no no defend defend definitely defend and do we still have a brand group we do we'll put those in a little house here the little two-story house on the fence looking up there we go Another platoon headquarters. Man, I was not very sp smart with my officers here, I think. In fact, I believe I thoroughly effed up. But okay, another rifle group whom we'll put, put in the bushes over here. We have a little bit of a sort of a position there. We'll put them in ambush mode. Anyone coming close will get shots. And we have 
another um oh there we go oh yeah that's actually really convenient uh, we have another um group using mortars where are we thinly spread i think in the middle we are a little thinly spread not much but a little i'll put them on ambush they're going to be our reserve battery let's start the battle and see where we can end up Oh, oh yeah. Uh-oh. I'll need to use it now. Bailing out already? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh wow, they're blowing up our tanks here. Not good news. Oh my. They're crushing us. They're crushing the Canadians. Surprising. I guess not entirely. I mean, let's be honest. They weren't the world's brilliant, most brilliant troopers. But the fact that my tanks are already down, that's unfortunate. I thought I'd positioned them well, but I guess I was unlucky. Oh, finally, we blew it up. Okay, great. Come on. Come on, get those grenadiers. Not difficult. Okay. Runners. No, don't cease fire. I'm telling you to fire. gonna run out of ammo at some point. Okay, wow, that middle section got completely murdered. Come on, kill some Germans, damn it! Okay, well, people are scared and panicky. Man, these Canadians have a bad bad time the stug is taking them apart do we have any air support wait a minute oh well I did have some artillery plans but I forgot to use it <laughs> or rather the um, the Canadian commander had some trouble using the radio I guess oh man what are what are our losses it was pretty terrible Oh man, we, we lost two armor, and he lost one gun. And he lost a lot of guys, but then again, so did we. We actually lost more infantry than he did. Mm, still we have a victory. A, a dearly paid victory. Okay, so maybe now... No, we won't get a strategic phase. Why would we have a strategic phase? Of course not, we're going to have a fight over port en bessin With, um... A fuelless um, 
infantry division versus a very well equipped infantry division. So that should be interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to rock and roll there. Oh, whoops. Alright, well anyway. I, um, I'm going to keep that for next time. I want to thank you all guys for watching. I hope you under, uh, understand that I will not leave the Canadians to die <laughs> on their beach. I will take care of things, don't worry. At some point we will get these dumbass Germans and blow them into the water. <sighs> yeah. Of course real life Germans yeah they're nice they're nice people but somehow the Canadians are very unlucky I don't know why anyway thank you all for joining me um see you all next time bye bye